found out that the nine yo have been raising is not my son. So, I've been with my wife, 34 yo, I'm 35, for 17 years. High school sweethearts, and got married 7 months before he was born, as soon as we knew she was pregnant. We have always had romance, and enjoyed it, ever since we started, with very few breaks. I can say we had, so far, a very happy life together, and no reason whatsoever to think the opposite. Then, yesterday, my world collapsed, the boy's health recently started to worry us, and we took him to a doctor, who tested him positive for a genetic disease that had to be present in both parents. We both got tested, but only she tested positive, I didn't. And that's when she said that the boy's father was not me. Right now, I don't know what to do. I can't process this, we went through college together with very few issues, we had, or so I thought, a happy life together, we have similar work schedules and I have never once suspected something was happening on my back. And yet, this is not my son. This is one of her co-workers from another job's son, as she now told me. She told me she had fallen for this guy for about a month, they had romance a couple of times, and then they stopped because she loved me oh so much. And through this month, I suspected absolutely nothing and happily lived my happy life. I can't trust her, now. I can't barely look at her in the eyes. I thought we had everything that we wanted, and we were already making plans of having a kid, when he appeared. We were happy. I was genuinely happy. And now, I can't help it but feel that I lived a nine-year-old lie. I remember proposing, humorously, that we get a parenting test at the time, because I was still using condoms, and she just told me don't be silly in an expectable reply. She could have freaked out, or get defensive but acting normal was all she had to do to make it go away. I was actually kidding, and now, more than ever, I regret that. She knew I was kidding. She was a witch. It gets worse, I can't look at that boy the same way. It's not his fault, and I've loved that little pest ever since before he was born. But I can't feel that now. I feel he's someone I raised, but he's not my son. I was taking that connection away. With him, with her, with everything. And he's got a ducking life-threatening disease that may require a liver transplant and will probably need me more than ever. We have a big house, good cars, a nice life without any financial worries, but I lost what mattered the most. I need help coping with this. I don't know what to do, or who to speak to about this. I have to let this out, or I'll snap. It's all a whirlpool of emotions. Hate and rage. Not healthy at all. We are still together, but I don't know if we can make it. I can't look at her, I can't tolerate her voice. And I have started to be cold to the boy, which I'm feeling absolutely miserable about. He is a smart kid, and he already knows something is wrong. But I can't help it. She said it only happened that time, she felt adventurous, she just wanted something out of routine, but I can't believe her. This was not simply being cheated. My life became a lie, and I feel I lost everything but the meaningless things. She's not the person I knew, he's not my son, and all in all, I'm alone, and without offspring of my own. Has anyone been here, and got a happy ending? I don't want a divorce, because that would be ending all that we ever had, but on the other hand, I question whatever it was that we really had. DL, doctor, just read the ducking title. It's what it looks like. Edit, wow, what a response, Reddit. I can't stress this enough, I will not abandon the boy, never ever ever. I feel detached from him, and I as well attribute that to the fact that these are fresh news. Either way, it has to stop, and I am aware of that. The marriage is a different thing. No, I'm not being a wussy by staying. I'm trying to find a solution that won't mean throwing away everything we got, especially when we both have a kid to take care of. We can afford individual and couples therapy, but I will try not to have him go through a divorce when he needs us the most. Thank you a lot, Reddit, Edit 2601. This thread has got too long, so it is impossible for me to answer everybody. I have received tons of private messages, and I am unable to answer them all. To all of those who sent them, please don't get me wrong, I really appreciate your help. This is the first update, we are going to try therapy. That is for sure, and I think it's the best first step to try to make things work out. Regarding my son, I am ashamed of what I wrote. I love him, and that was definitely the shock talking. I said it before, I will not abandon him, and I'll try to make this work. Hi guys, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Something similar happened to me recently. My ex-wife and I divorced 10 years ago. For the last 10 years I have the joint custody of my 14-year-old son. Six months ago her boyfriend dumped her and kicked her out, leaving her homeless, and I had to find out through a third party that my son was actually living at his aunt's house. 
when I confronted my ex-wife about this, insisting that if he had one stable parent, he should live with that parent, not an aunt, she said that she would be getting her stuff together soon. Six weeks later she emailed me saying she had just done a DNA test and that my son was actually fathered by her co-worker from 15 years ago. Apparently she had tracked down the father and asked him to do one of those $99 home paternity test kits. A few days later I got a copy of the paperwork in the mail. I was crushed. I called in sick for I don't know how long, and then drank myself stupid for about a week, while thinking some of the craziest, most angry, spiteful, retaliatory bullpoop a guy could conceive of. I mean I seriously wanted to stab this witch in the uterus with a rusty screwdriver. After about a week of this I managed to pick myself up, dust myself off, and call my son to tell him that I may not be his father but I'm still his dead god damn it. I told him that no piece of paper is ever going to change that. I told him that he is everything that he is because of how I raised him. I said that I would always love him. You know what he said? Good, because I was worried that you leave me when you got the news DL, doctor, your wife may be the biggest cut on earth for doing this, but your son is your son no matter what. He needs you, man. DNA contribution does not make a dad. You've been there for 9 years, you're his dad. It looks like being his biological father matters that much to me. Had you asked me about that one month ago, and I don't know what my answer would be. Now it happened, and this is how I'm reacting. I will never leave the boy, but I'm afraid I will never be able to look at him the same way. He's still the 9 year old smartass I love and feel proud about. But he's not my son. He really isn't my biological child. My wife came clean about this, and she said she already knew he wasn't my son. She never told me because she knew I would react this way. She probably knew me better than I did. He is your son. You've raised him for 9 ducking years. 9 years of bedtime stories. 9 years of hugs. 9 years of him calling you dad. That is the stuff of fatherhood. No genes can ever change that. Your wife made a terrible mistake. But none of it was your child's fault. He's going to be going through some very difficult times ahead, and he'll be needing his father. Be there for him. The shock is still too fresh for you to know what to do but one thing is clear, the child is blameless. You are his father regardless of the genetic factors. You loved him yesterday and you will again love him tomorrow. The sin of the mother is not the son's. But you will not be able to know slash feel that for a while. So get to a counselor. Couples counseling can wait a bit as you need to deal with your feelings about your son ASAP and soonish your feelings for your wife. Your wife did a stupid and bad thing, show yourself that you are a whole lot better than her standards of behavior and do the right thing by your son here. In time when some of this crap is behind you you will like yourself a whole lot better for having done so, and in time if slash when your son learns his history, and he reflects on your behaviors he will think all the better of you too. Do not abandon the boy in order to avoid the pain of dealing with your wife. Then all three of you get hurt. You gotta be the adult here and protect him. He will find out the truth in time and if you dump on him now and then he finds out the truth he will have a bad relationship with his mother, perhaps no relationship with you and also feel bad as he was what broke you two up. So start the hard work with a counselor ASAP so he does not end up majorly damaged. You can do it man. I have not had this exact experience but have dealt with, in my own life, so pretty nasty poop similar to this and it does all work out in the end. Pain, anger hate, etc. All the bad emotions will be felt and then you end up on the other side knowing yourself better than you ever did before. And you end up with a new relationship with your son which will evolve as he finds out the truth too. Just don't let the boy be caught in any emotional blast zones. Genes or not he is your son. Please treat him right. He's your kid, man. I am a kid raised by a man that wasn't my father, but let me tell you, he was a million times more of a dad than my actual father ever could be. He needs you. You guys should consider going in for marriage counseling. You have all had a happy life together, and I personally think it would be awful to throw everything away so suddenly, and especially at a time like this. I see a lot of comments telling you to forgive your wife, but duck that. I don't see how you could want to stay with a woman who cold-heartedly went behind your back and ducked another man over the course of a month because she needed to get out of her routine, I'm sorry, but duck that and duck staying with a piece of poop that would be willing to do that, especially when things were going good. WTF is she going to do when things get hard? As for the child, you should still be there for the child. You've put in the effort, you shouldn't bail now. It's not his fault, and perhaps if you and your wife were to separate you could get that bond back with the child. Perhaps it's the presence of your wife that's making you feel cold towards the child. Maybe subconsciously her presence along with him being there brings back images of the horrible things your wife did to you, therefore you take it out on the boy. Assuming that the wife is also a good mother, 
the boy's life would still be fine and it would allow you to move forward with your life. Staying with your wife for the sake of the child is the absolute worst thing you could do. I'm sure deep down your child would just want you to be happy, and I think if you were on your own you could get over this and still provide for him. Good luck. Pro tip, your wife has likely been ducking other men. Once a cheater, always a cheater.